Well, hello and welcome back to another exciting edition of Coffee with Steven. So right now I am in Phoenix Sky Harbor Airport at the Centurion Lounge. Kind of in my um, dehumanized pod here. Um, Sandy and I, in fact she's just sitting right over here, Sandy and I spent last weekend at West Point for Cheney's Ring Weekend. This is an interesting ceremony. I'll be probably writing about it next week. Um, when cadets become firsties at the beginning of the year, they actually receive their coveted West Point rings. Uh, this is the same thing with all the military academies. So they actually wear their class rings during their final year at the, at what in her case, West Point. Uh, and it's a big ceremonial thing, so it was really cool. We got to see her and all the other cadets, and she got her rings, and it was pretty pretty neat. Uh, that's not what this blog is about. This blog is about something entirely different, um, and it's kind of and it's kind of an amusing one. So, a number of months ago, uh, there was a commercial that was put out by the Daily Wire. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Daily Wire, I think most of you probably know all about it, but it's, it's, a, um, it's, a, political, uh, it's a political website. It's a, uh, there's some satire, there's uh, some independent thought. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a good source of information. Uh, ben Shapiro is known for being at the Daily Wire. Anyways, um, Harry's Razors had been an advertiser on the Daily Wire, and they um, they ended up dropping their uh, their relationship with them, saying that there was a values misalignment issue, since somebody at the Daily Wire had essentially made the argument that men are men and women are women. Um, this evidently was too much for Harry's to bear, so they they pulled themselves off. The CEO of, um, of the Daily Wire, a gentleman by the name of Jeremy, decided to do something somewhat unique. Rather than just simply lambasting Harry's and Gillette for that matter, since Gillette had uh, also decided to go gender neutral in their approach, he decided to open up his own razor company to compete directly with them. And uh, the ad that he produced, which is, you can watch in the actual blog that I wrote, it's very, very, very funny. Anyways, um, I was so impressed with this that I decided to go ahead and sign up for one of their subscription services. In all candor, without any real intention of using it. I, you know, when it comes to, especially something like a razor, when I get find something that I'm comfortable with, I just stick with it, okay? I mean, it's just, in all candor, it's just not that important to me. Um, so, you know, I figured I would subscribe to it, it'd be kind of funny, and then, you know, would eventually let it kind of run out. And then I promptly forgot about it. Well, about two weeks ago, I got an email saying that my subscription was now going to be fulfilled and they were gonna start shipping these things. So I was kind of pleasantly amused. When it showed up, I was really somewhat intrigued. The razor itself is pretty high end, and I decided to, you know, experiment with it up in the bathroom. Absolutely spectacular. I am an, a 100% convert. I mean, irrespective of any politics or virtue signaling or anything like that, it's a really freaking good razor. Um, so anyways, I, I wrote the blog about that. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, for some of you, I hope you actually go ahead and sign up because I think it's a pretty good product. In any event, as always, I want you to train constantly, train consistently, train repetitively, and train with purpose. Above all else, stay safe.